Hello, I am CD, a media student at Multimedia, and I am pursuing diploma in journalism. So, a few months ago, I assumed I had lost my love for reading. I spent days scrolling over blog posts and getting bored within the first paragraph. I spent weeks actually putting books down after a few pages. Nothing was speaking to me. Then one powerful day, I stumbled on a blog post. It, it was titled, Why Some People Secretly Loth Their Families. And then the book version of it, Forgiveness, Give Up Hope for a Better Past. It's a book by Linus Kirimi. The book covers the painful theme of forgiveness. For example, a person hurt you in the past. You forgave and you moved on happily. Then one day, the same same person says something and the pain reoccurs all over again. Why does this happen? The first part of the book explains why it's almost impossible to let go over past grudges. And the reason is the ego loves grudges. The ego feeds on grievances. The book chapter about the ego is so illuminating and is an eye-opener. The next second part of the book covers why you have to forgive. And on the chapter, the difference between forgiving and making peace with the people who hurt you is really explained. Then the third part of the book is the three case studies. The story of Fman, Sandy Sandy and Kitty. The three case study is a clear way for the next part, which is the healing process. See, Efman was abandoned by family. Sandy Sandy was cheated on. And Kitty, well, Kitty is a story of when you try hard, that's when you die hard. The third part of the book is the healing process. You were hurt in the past and, oh my God, everyone has been hurt in the past. And as the book says, no one has a completely happy past. So you may reach a point where you want to forgive, but you just don't know how to do it. The healing process handles reconciling with your past. It handles how to understand that you cannot change the past. It handles how to let go. It handles how to move on to more self-awareness. The book is packed with practical psychology, curious pointers on self-awareness, and most refreshing, no words are wasted. The book has no filler materials. Like, you know how writers pack pages on pages of repeating the same material? This book has none of that. So to get most of the book, you have to read every sentence and maybe reread the book. And lastly, keep it as a reference. Bye! Mwah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's it. Thank you guys. Mm-hmm.